Good morning, boys and girls. Today I'm going to be reading you one of my favorite stories, A Sick Day for Amos McGee. Okay. Are we ready? Amos McGee was an early riser. Every morning when the alarm clock changed, he swung his legs out of bed and swapped his pajamas for a fresh pressed uniform. He would wind his watch and set a pot of water to boil, saying to the sugar bowl, a spoonful for my oatmeal, please, and two for my teacup. There he is. His belly was full and he was ready for the workday and he would get out the door. There he goes. Every day, Amos waited for the number five bus. Next stop, City Zoo, the driver would call. 6 a.m., right on time, he would say. There's the number five bus. There's Amos waiting for it. Amos had a lot to do at the zoo, but he always made time to visit his good friends. There's the city zoo. He's walking inside. He would play chess with the elephant, who thought and thought before making a move. He would run races with the tortoise, who never ever lost. He would sit quietly with the penguin, who was very shy. And he would lend a handkerchief to the rhinoceros, who always had a runny nose. And at sunset, he would read stories to the owl, who was afraid of the dark. One day, Amos woke up with the sniffles and the sneezes and the chills. He swung his achy legs out of bed, curled them back and said, Ugh, I don't think I want to go to work today. Look at him. He looks very sick. Meanwhile, at the zoo, the animals waited for their friend. The elephant arranged his pawns and polished his castles. The tortoise stretched his legs and limbered up. The penguin sat patiently all by himself. The rhinoceros worried his allergies were getting worse. The owl perched atop a tall stack of storybooks, scratching his head with concern. Where is Amos, wondered the animals. Look, they're wondering where they are. Where is he? Later that day, what do you see happening? It looks like the animals are leaving the zoo. What does it look like they're doing now? Look right there. I think they're waiting for the bus. Where do you think they're going? <gasps> we were right. They all got on the number five bus. <gasps> Look. said Amos. They went to visit Amos because he was not feeling good. The elephant prepared a game of chess. Amos thought and thought before making a move. Look, the elephant brought the chess game to Amos. I'm too tired to run races today, said Amos to the tortoise. Let's play hide and seek instead. The tortoise hid inside his shell, and Amos hid under the covers. A 
Seymour's yawn. Oh, I could use a nap. The penguin sat quietly, keeping Amos' feet warm. See? Achoo! Amos woke up with a sneeze, and the rhinoceros was ready with a handkerchief for Amos. I'm beginning to feel much better. Thank you, said Amos to his friends. He swung his legs out of bed. Perhaps we will share a pot of tea. There's the owl pouring the tea. Amos wound his alarm clock. It's getting late, he said. After all, we have a morning bus to catch. So Amos said good night to the elephant and good night to the tortoise and good night to the penguin and good night to the rhinoceros and good night to the owl. Knowing Amos was afraid of the dark, he read him a story before turning off the light. And there they are, all asleep. The end. And there they are going back to the zoo. I hope you guys like this story, boys and girls. It's one of my favorites, and I wanted you to be able to listen to it. I miss you. Bye.